Well, everyone seems to be in a hurry out there. Couple that with the rain and holiday travel, and it could mean an increase in traffic accidents. What are the first things that you should do if you're ever in an accident? Well, Zita with Bagot McCall is here to run us through. And if you haven't been through that in a while, you know, thank goodness. But there's things <laughs> you need to keep in mind. And the first one is, what do we do? Do we call the police anymore? I don't even know. Absolutely. The first thing you want to do is call the police. Call 911, actually, and they will make sure the police and the ambulance gets to your seat. You also want to see if anyone's injured, including yourself. So those are the first things you want to do. And sometimes you may not know that you have an injury until later because you're kind of adrenaline pumped right there after the accident. So you need to keep in mind that you may feel something later. Absolutely. If you're feeling soreness or anything like that, we definitely suggest you go to the hospital to get checked out because a lot of times you just don't know how hurt you may be. All right. So what kind of documentation should we be getting from the police when they show up at the accident scene? Well, you definitely want to get their name and their phone number as well as the report they give you that tells you uh, what your accident report number is. And then they'll tell you when you can go pick it up and where you can pick it up. Okay. And do we need to go pick up that accident report? Is that something, do you wait until your insurance company says you're going to need that or, or what should you do? You pick it up right away. Okay. The minute it's ready. That's very important in determining, uh, you know, what kind of case you have and whether we can help you. All right. And a lot of people nowadays have a phone on their, ca or a camera on their phone. Should we take pictures when we're out there at the accident scene? Yes. If it's, if it's feasible, take pictures before the uh, cars are moved. You definitely want to make sure that you video or photograph anything regarding the accident, okay. as well as getting phone numbers from any witnesses and the driver, as well as the other driver's insurance information. And we should take responsibility for that. Don't wait for the police officer to, to do those things. Absolutely. There's some witnesses who may come to the scene and then leave. So you want to get that phone number from the witness, as well as any information from the other driver. All right. Once you have those pictures and you have all that information, who do we need to let know that this has happened? Your insurance company. A lot of times people don't want to contact their insurance company because they say, well, it wasn't my fault. But sometimes in certain matters, that may help resolve the case faster. So you definitely want to call your insurance company and let them know you were in an accident. Okay. So even if it was the other person's fault, even if they got ticketed or something, still call your own insurance company and let them know that this has occurred. Absolutely. All right. And when do we need to contact a lawyer? When do we know if we're going to need legal representation? Regardless of how big the accident is, you want to let a lawyer know because we can help you. We help clients with just property damage. We help them big or small. So contact a lawyer and do it immediately. And of course, Bagot McCall is someone that you can call right here in town. You see their website is on the screen and you want to pass on the phone number. Sure. Our phone number is 337-478-478. 8888. You can also call us at 188 New Claim. And we're actually available 24 hours a day. So if you get an accident at midnight, give us a call and we'll try to help you. All right. Thanks, Zita, for all the uh, advice. Stay with us. We're going to wrap things up for you after the break. Mm -hmm.